Hey, Barbara Blair Recycling Strong. So you guys know I just did the Tusher and the Crusher race in Beaver, Utah. It was not my best race and I'm gonna explain why. So what happened is, is I had my iPhone in the back of my kit because I didn't have any support. It's clear out through the uh, Tusher Mountains and there was no support so you use their support, which I never do in a race. I always have a good support crew that takes care of me. Well, in through that I had my phone back there but I did not put it in a Ziploc bag or in some sort of bag to make sure it was waterproof. So on the race, I did not get the cold water being handed up and put it on me, and so I ended up with heat stroke. So I'm gonna teach you a trick that I do that'll absolutely help you in any event, and the reason I'm gonna teach it to you is because it saved my life even on this event. When I actually got to the aid station where I was done, the heat stroke was just killing me at that point, um, there was a guy named Chris Bingham there. And Chris had already done this for his uh, guys and was waiting for them, but he, uh, he had all these made up. So what I'm gonna teach you here is something you can use in any event that's super hot or before a big hill climb. Now I use it a lot and it saved me in so many events because it brings your core temperature down so much. So what you do is you go out and you buy some knee-high pantyhose, just like this, okay? And then when you get the knee-high pantyhose, you put them on something like this right here, you add it on to right here, then you go to an ice machine either at the hotel or uh, at you know your house. You stick this underneath just like this, it drops in. So that'll give us the point. You'll see it's right in there. Then what I do is I just work it right into here, just like that, and it works just down into the pantyhose. Now what you wanna do is you want this pantyhose all the way, as much ice as you think you can handle, and then what you do is you take that off, you set it there, you take this, and this is what goes in the back of your kit. So you unzip, this goes right on the back of your neck, right just like this and then this part comes over right here then when you zip this up anytime this starts to melt you pull this right here to keep it right where you want it so right here you'll see this part that's what keeps it up there that's what pulls it keeps it into place so what I do is I pre make these and then I stick these all in my cooler so they're ready to go or I have ice in there I use something like that because it makes it easier to get in the entrance of the pantyhose and then fills this full of ice. You'll see the pros do this all the time. That's where I got the idea from. So if you're not doing something like this, it's absolutely the best thing you can possibly do. Once I got these on my back, got my core temperature down, I was back and ready to go. But it was a miserable time getting there. So don't let this happen to you in one of your events. Uh, get you some pantyhose, get out there, get you a good cooler, and make sure that these last and be ready for the race. We'll be talking to you soon. Get out there, keep cycling strong.